Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to catch a zebra mussel trophy and winding rivulet. In this episode we are heading to a new water body but before we do that this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Today's fun spot is on Ladoga Lake. From this spot you can expect to catch kibble carp trophies and even a blue tag. Best time to fish here is midnight and mornings. While fishing here I also got to 90% bottom fishing. In terms of money, we managed to fill up a Gibble Cafe order for 8 silver and sold the rest of the keep net for 198 silver. So in total, we made 206 silver. This time, you guys sent me a lot of egg though. I really, really appreciate it. We are currently sitting at 4.3 million pieces of egg though. Road to 10 mil continues. This is for all my YouTube members. Make sure to join. Let's see, where will the wheel land this time? And it landed on Aktuba River. Okay, that's going to be fun. Since we rolled Aktuba River, there is a pretty fun trophy to go for. We will be trying to go for the Buffalo Carp Trophy. There is also a chance at getting a blue tag, at this time at least while I'm recording this video, so there is a chance we could actually get a blue tag. But the trophies are pretty common and I do not think we will get a blue tag from there. Because as you know, usually when I get a trophy, I have to leave the lake, spin the wheel and see where the wheel will take me. Okay, let's make some dry mix for buffalo fishing. We will mix up a corn flower base with four different additives muscle pellets 3 muscle pellets 6 muscle pellets 8 and crab pellets 7 for the attractant we will use crab and mussels this mix should be just right for buffalo fishing right now now let's head to october river and try to get to our fishing spot it is actually quite a walk away so it will take me some time to get there this will be my setup i will use a sinking boily and pellet hair rig so the first spot of this episode i'm fishing at is at 137 100 i use clip size 10 to 11 11, hook size 2O, and for the bait, pepper and mussel pellets 18, crab and mussels 20, and mussels dip. I've seen a few comments on YouTube of you guys asking me how to change the rig mount, so if you want to change your rig mount, you have to go to your rod, scroll down, go to the mount, click change, and then choose what kind of a setup you want to use. Let's put in the third rod, and then we are ready to fish. This is actually quite awesome. The spot is a bit odd, it's very hard to put your rod on the shore. As you can see, those two rods are very close to the water, but the middle one somehow it won't let me put it closer to the water but it's kind of halfway up on the hill but if we get bites it doesn't matter the spot also looks pretty damn nice where we're fishing at rf4 has made some great looking maps mm, what a funny button i think you should click on it to see what it does our first bite this is exciting i've been fishing for a small fish for such a long time actually for like three months or so on winding rivulet and now to be actually car fishing it is exciting we can finally get some bigger fish and also maybe some new fish actually seems like the fish took the bait let's see if this is new species for me or if it is something that we already have okay so this is a grass carp and this we actually already have it's not the biggest one either it's 4.3 kilos but it's a market fish so this means we just made some cash i'm pretty sure from this spot you can get grass carp common carp buffalo carp black buffalo carp and also the big head carp so we have three new species that we could get from this spot okay the fish took the bait but there is nothing absolutely nothing on the hook I mean, it's fine we'll get them next time boys also one thing that i'm not going to do for a while now is any scooping i'm gonna switch out the scoop to a spade and we're gonna start digging now so we can get some new baits because currently we have a lot of like gold baits that you can get by scooping but we have almost none that you can get while digging so digging it is now let's get some nice small crickets and so on we have a fish on as well which looks like a pretty decent fish at least by the indicator so that's some money is that a common okay that's not a common that's a wild carp i think i think it is at least no it's a common carp okay so 3.6 kilo common still a marker fish i am not complaining that's still way better than catching all the tiny fish i did for the last three months i am actually excited and we had another nibble okay that is amazing i guess the bite rate is getting better here in the mornings so that is a very good sign hopefully we'll get something nice on the hook in like the next five ten minutes but i'm just gonna go and have a little walk around and see what else cool is around here because i've actually never ever explored the map before tasty floor snack time nice and seems like we have another fish on hopefully this is new species so we have have one species to tick off the list that we need to catch and this seems like a buffalo carp so it is a new species for us it is not the smallest buffalo but it is also not the biggest so this is 2.7 kilos which is not too bad the trophy size starts from 15 kilos and the blue tag is 20 kilos i've seen quite a few regular trophies in the chat that were 15 to 17 kilos and i also saw one that was 19 kilos that guy unlucky and this fish is actually putting in a bit of a fight it's very nice to see it's actually 
actually fighting back at least a teeny tiny bit. Hopefully it is another buffalo. And it actually is. Very nice. As you can see in the chat, two trophies were recently caught as well. And this is like double the size, I think. Yeah, double the size. 5.4 and the last one was 2.7. So it's exactly double the size. I'm actually quite curious. How hard is the trophy buffalo going to fight? Because that 5.4 kilo buffalo was putting in a bit of a fight already. And I think it was a bit stronger than a regular common carp, but weaker than a grass carp. But I don't really know anymore. As I said, I've been way too long away from carp fishing and just feeder fishing for small fish. And I've kind of lost the touch with the, all the fish fighting. But that's another buffalo, which is very good. 3.2 kilos. And we have another fish on the middle rod. Is this going to be a buffalo as well? And it is, but this is super tiny, only 1.8 kilos, but still a marker fish. So, I mean, I guess I can't complain about that. I'm going to introduce some more feed to the swim and hopefully this will draw in some bigger fish. I'm not really sure if you should feed the fish one spot full or two spot fulls. So maybe you guys can tell me. I did feed them with one spot full before and now it was the second time. This is definitely going to be a new BB buffalo. If it's a buffalo, it was spooling me for a bit. And yes, it is a buffalo. Nice. It has to be like like eight kilos come on it was pulling me so so much harder than the five kilo one let's net this fish actually 6.6 .6 kilos so this fish has some strength this fish just came up like nothing it did not fight at all it's so odd let's see how big this is it seems pretty decent as well yeah six kilos the one that we had before that was six kilos was putting in a proper fight and this one absolutely nothing and it seems to be the same case with this fish but i'm not sure how big this is let's see it seems to be about the same size i think but again Again, no fight. Yeah, no fight. 5.4 kilos. Buffaloes are surprising. I really don't know what to expect anymore. Keepnet is looking very nice right now. Mostly only buffaloes, which is a very good sign. And we caught our first ever big head carp. That is awesome because I never ever caught a single one of these before. So we have another species ticked off the list. The trophy size for the big head is 30 kilos. So I don't think we will get that. At least not in today's episode. What kind of a fish is this? Oh, it's another big head. But this this one's actually a bit bigger, so maybe there is a big head carp trophy on the table for today. 8.7 kilos. That's the biggest fish we've caught so far in this episode. All right, a bit of a bigger fish on again. Is it going to be another big head carp? I wonder, or something else. And it looks like a buffalo, but a bigger buffalo. Probably my baby buffalo so far. Let's see, how big is this? 8 kilos. So we're getting closer and closer to the halfway trophy mark. Well, another tinier buffalo. I mean, 5 kilos is not tiny, but it's not big. Either. Let's see what is going on on the first rod. What kind of fish is this? Oh, it's a black buffalo, actually. That is very cool. These fish are supposedly extremely rare. As you can see, 16,000 DXP for just a 3 kilo black buffalo. I wonder how much money is it going to be worth? Hopefully a lot, because I am pretty broke after buying that knife to cut up the zebras and river mussels. This fish has been putting in a proper fight, like actually pr a proper fight. The first one so far. And it is not a buffalo. It is actually a wild carp. I did not expect to catch a wild carp and i totally forgot to mention to you guys at the beginning that you can get wild carp from here and this one is 10 kilos which is actually pretty huge 25 kilos is the trophy size okay we have hooked into something extremely big and somebody just got a rare trophy buffalo in the chat as you can see 21 kilos that's a massive one that's very very nice congrats my guy but i think if this is a buffalo this has to be a buffalo trophy because as you saw before we caught a few that were like eight kilos six kilos they fought a little bit but not too much and if this this is a 15 kilo buffalo i mean it has to fight like this right the sad thing is right now it is going towards the open water which is not very nice because it can outspool me hopefully it won't happen but i guess i should move around a bit just to guide it around and make it go back into the channel but i think we've lost it yeah it is not going back into the channel which is not the best if you want to fight it like in the best way make sure you actually turn it in a way that it goes back into the channel not outside onto the main river while we fight this fish a little plug come join our discord server we have currently 754 members after joining make sure to agree to the rules and choose which channels you would like to view by clicking on the emojis thank you for hearing me out okay i can see the fish it is a buffalo it is a buffalo it's a huge buffalo it's a massive massive fish it's so close i i think we can actually net it pretty soon it is oh no it's not giving up yet it still has a lot of fight in it it has to be a trophy buffalo did you see the size of it if it's not a trophy buffalo then what the heck is this it just has to be like 15 kilos and by the textures as well it looked absolutely massive so it has to be a trophy there is no other way i swear if it's like 14 kilos or just a few grams under 15 kilos that's a bit sad i almost have it it's so close i so 
saw it on the surface as well and uh, it's just going. It just doesn't want to give up. It's so sad. <laughs> I thought they almost had it in the net already. It was only like five meters away. But no, this thing has loads of energy. I think in the next episode, I need to go and upgrade my gear. On this caliber reel, I need a new braid. I need a new lead core and a new leader as well. So if I get those three things upgraded, I will probably have a way better setup to pull out carbs and maybe even try to walk some of the carbs. I'm going to try to put my friction brake to 30 for a second and see if I can actually pull it in like that. Maybe it's not going to break my setup. I mean, it's risky. Okay, it's uh, going to the red. I don't know if it's a good idea. I think we should go back to 29. This is a bit too risky, but it's so tempting to get it in easier. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it because if it's a trophy, I don't want to lose it. Okay, this fish has gotten quite far away already, but it has stopped. It's not running like crazy, so that's very nice. There is no way it's going to spool me then if it's not running. And also, I can hear the bell going on on my other rods. It would be so funny if we actually have a trophy on this one and have a second trophy on the other rod. That would be so, so cool. It is finally coming in. It's not too far away. It's like 10 meters away and it's slowly, slowly coming towards me. It was actually quite a fun fight. The good thing is that this fish doesn't just spool you and make a real scream, but it just slowly tries to run away, then stops and so on. And it was a chill fight. I really, really enjoyed it. So this seems like a trophy. Let's uh, try to net this fish once we get it closer. And I guess we have our episode completed because we have caught the trophy buffalo. No, no, that is not a trophy. It is a blue tag buffalo. What? No way. I did not think I was going to get a blue tag buffalo. That's insane. I mean, I'm going to name it Norling, obviously. Uh, wow, that is crazy. That is so, so cool. I did not think I was going to get the blue tag. We've got three blue tags already at level 28. That's insane. And I'm also going to release this fish. If you guys catch this, send me a photo. Let's release this fish and hope you guys will catch it. If you do, release it back into the water and do not sell it. But I think you guys will most likely sell it. I just know you guys will sell it for money. Also, the episode is not over because this is not called the red trophy log, but this is called the trophy log. So I still need to get the trophy buffalo. And I do not care about the blue tag. This was all cool, but we need the regular trophy. Let's see what is on this rod. Okay, that's a gable cup. That is uh, not a good sign. Let's see what's on this rod. That's a tiny buffalo. 1.4 kilos. Way better. As you can see on my profile, we have three rare trophies. And so we have the crucian carp, we have the common roach, and now also a buffalo blue tag. And I have to say it's pretty insane. I did not catch a single buffalo trophy before I got the blue tag. That is some serious luck over there. It is time to make some silver. I managed to sell my keep net for 315 silver and this black buffalo was worth 52 silver even though it was only 3 kilos. That is a very very good fish to get if you get it in a bigger form. It's pretty wild to think that I got to this lake and then 60 minutes later I had a blue tag. Yeah, what is my luck? Another 6 kilo buffalo and we are back at the grind. We need to get the trophy. The regular one please game. Imagine if I get 2 blue tags in a row. I will actually leave this one then if I get another blue tag. I either get the regular trophy or a blue tag, I'm leaving. And we have our first night fish. Hopefully this is a good fish, a nice buffalo, but I guess we will see in a second. And that is actually a big head carp once again. Every time when I say big head carp, it reminds me of Big Mouth. It's a series on Netflix and you know, big head and big mouth, they go together very well. I swear I took good care of them, but I just fell asleep. And we have our first morning bite. The bite rate is getting better because it is 6 a.m. right now and last time at 6 7 a.m. I started to get my first bites up to like 10 a.m. So hopefully today it will be the same. Another 6 kilo buffalo? Can't really complain about that. We are actually right now at 89.4% bottom fishing and we're so close to getting to the 90%. With 90% we could use the method feeder and we can use the pop-up version, the regular sinking boilie. And I think the method feeder will be absolutely amazing on Beer Lake. Especially if we don't have BVA, the method feeder will be a lifesaver. I'm hiding in the bush so I would get a bite. I haven't had a bite in such a long time. Oh, and we have a bite. The bush camping helps boys, girls. If you need a bite, go hide in the bushes and you will get a bite. What kind of fish is it? It's a buffalo. It's a tiny one. Hmm. I guess we need to go and do some more bush camping. This time I decided to do no bush camping and we have a bite. So yeah, I guess that was just a coincidence. Let's get a quick floor snack and then hopefully the fish will be on the hook and we can get it out. Okay, we have a fish on this rod now and it is a decent fish by the looks of it. It's actually fighting a bit. Not sure if it's another buffalo or maybe a big head 
or maybe a wild card. But mostly on the last day, we had buffaloes during the daytime and other sorts of species during the nighttime. So I have high hopes this is a buffalo. And since this is fighting so hard, it could be close to a trophy size. It looks big, but I don't think it looks trophy big. You know, if you look at this, maybe it's 10 kilos. I really don't know. It's, uh, it's just my guess, maybe 10 kilos. It can't be a trophy because the blue tag looks so huge. Yeah, 11.8 kilos. So actually not too far away from the trophy size. Tiny buffalo and it's bigger brother because this buffalo looks actually pretty huge. Most likely one of the biggest buffaloes I've caught at all ever. Yeah, 10 kilos. That's my third biggest buffalo. I'm not a little fella. I am absolutely enjoying fishing at this spot. If you guys want, definitely check this spot out if it's still active. I hope it is because uh, I recorded this like two weeks ago. So it should be active still. Ooh, seems like a very decent fish. No, it's a bream. It's a 3.8 kilo bream. We almost caught a trophy bream out of nowhere. Well, that is definitely very, very unexpected. I did not expect to catch a bream from here at all. Ooh, that seems like a nice fish. It is actually doing a bit of spooling. So maybe it's another fish around 6 to 10 kilos. Maybe even a trophy because as you saw the blue tag, it did some running, then stopped and then ran again. So I really don't know. These buffaloes are so weird. But let's see. This is not a trophy. No way. That's another 10 kilos. Yes, please. 11, maybe 12. Uh, 12? No. Oh, almost 11. Not too bad. Let's drop in some food for the fish and hopefully they will arrive at the scene. Nothing really interesting happened during the daytime. So yeah, we are already at nighttime and we have a pretty nice common carp on at middle night. This is the first, no, actually the second common carp, but the first one was very tiny. This is a solid one. That is actually a common carp worth catching. If you could get like an inventory worth of these common carp at this size, you would make a bank. But unfortunately, they are not as common over here as their name says. Well, uh, not a decent fish. Let's go. That is a very nice sign. Once again, oh, it's another common carp. So I guess they actually are pretty common over here, even though I just said they're not that common. 11 kilos, so 13 kilos and 11 kilos. Not bad at all. Six kilos, six kilos, almost six kilos. Yeah, another tiny carp. No luck with the trophy, but I mean, I've been here for like an extra two hours, so it's nothing. I'm gonna do this trick where you log out so we can get to the base very quickly. It's time to sell our fish again. And we have quite a bit of buffaloes and some other species as well, which is very nice to see. Unfortunately, no black buffalo, but still we made 353 silver. Uh, that is my plug right there. Yeah, it's this guy. I go AFK for a bit and this madness happens. We have fish on every single rod right now, which is, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's very good, but still I go AFK for a bit and we have loads of fish. I stay active and watch my screen the whole time. No fish. So a seven kilo buffalo. Okay, very nice. Let's see what is on the second rod. It is another buffalo, I think. Yep. No, nope. it's a common carp. 6.7 kilos. And let's see what is on the third rod. Okay, this is another buffalo. Very nice. We just made some money. Good money in like 15 seconds. And this seems to be another bigger fish. Maybe a common, maybe buffalo. Oh, it's a buffalo. It's another near 10 kilo buffalo, I think. I've had so many 6, 5, and 3 kilo buffaloes in the past hour. So this is so, so good to see. Finally, a fish that is a bit bigger. And this seems like another decent fish. So maybe they will start getting bigger and bigger after all. I mean, it's 7 a.m. So it's about the time. But this one, oh, seven kilos. Yep, can't complain. 89.8% bottom fishing. We only need 0.2% to hit 90%. That is so, so nice to see. The day was pretty empty. Nothing really happened, but we have another big in on. So this should be a very nice buffalo. Yeah, almost 12 kilos. Three kilos off the trophy size. I just went AFK for like two minutes and somebody caught a rare buffalo. That is super nice. Congrats. And we also have a very nice fish on. I don't know what it is though, because I haven't seen it yet, but hopefully we will get it to the surface very soon and we can see what kind of fish this is. Hopefully it's buffalo because it is fighting very, very well and it could be a buffalo trophy that way. And we have a fish on the middle rod as well now. This is not a buffalo, I think. Yeah, it seems like a common carp. Definitely a common carp, but still a very nice one. So we are making bank. The middle rod is also going wild. There is something huge on that one. Maybe another big common. Yeah, almost 13 kilos. That's not too bad. Let's see what's on the middle rod. Okay, this is also spooling me. That is very, very nice to see. And this one is actually spooling me aggressively. This time I'm going to try to play it smart and try to guide the fish to the right side instead of letting it go to the left side and into the open water because this is way, way easier for me if I fight the fish in this small canal instead of all the open water that's on the left side. And the easiest way to guide the fish is just aim your rod on the opposite direction. Usually if you aim your rod at the left side, the fish will try to go to the right side and vice versa. This has to be some sort of a trophy. It is actually spooling me so, so well. I don't think even the blue tag that we had before was spooling me like this. 
is. Like, all jokes aside, I think I've been aiming my rod to the left side for quite some time, so the fish should be quite far away. I, I can take a look where it is right now. Yep, it is not gonna come towards me and try to swim past me. So we are safe with that for now. Okay, so there is uh, just two tiny rivers and they split up, so hopefully there is no way this fish can get stuck somewhere because that would be very, very unfortunate. If this kind of a spool fest continues, my reel is going to start burning up and that is not good because then your friction brake is really going to get hurt. It is just spooling me. There is nothing I can do. This is so good. Imagine if this is actually not a buffalo trophy, but maybe a big head carp or a grass carp. That would be actually insane. Come on, really is burning up. That is not good. I need to do something about it. I think the only thing I can do is release the drag even more and then hopefully it will stop burning. Come on game. I have released the drag so much, but it's still burning up. What is going on? Okay, stop now. Thank God. I'm going to go and walk with the fish for a bit and see where it's going because at the end there it can go into a separate part of the river which is not good also while walking i need to make sure that i don't lose the tension in line because that's when the fish can get off the hook just imagine if this is another blue tag because that blue tag did not fight like this fish is fighting so imagine two blue tags and no trophy no regular trophy that would be the luckiest thing ever i think like that's actually crazy i, I don't even know what else to say about it i think the fish is finally tired it took quite some time to tire this fish out and it is still swimming around left and right a bit come to the surface already please i need to see if this fish is another blue tag okay this looks huge this looks actually huge it could be another blue tag i think uh, i just need to get it in very quickly come on fish just come to the keep net already let me net you in and take you to my inventory come on okay it looks huge does it look the same size as the blue tag i don't really know but it looks huge that's for sure maybe it's not the same as the blue tag i just can't remember really but i guess the moment of truth will come once we net this fish and if it is another blue tag i'm gonna quit the game okay 19 kilos it was almost another blue tag just 900 grams of the blue tag if it would have been a blue tag i would have actually quit the game anyways we caught the buffalo trophy which means that we have our trophy finally time to sell our keep net for 487 silver and as you can see that one trophy is worth a huge chunk of it trophies over here are worth a ton of money and i am absolutely loving it if you guys like this video you also might like my real life videos so click here take care bye bye